prove that cos x plus y is equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. This is the most important identity we are going to study, which will give us a lot more many other identities coming out of it. Now, again we have taken a unit circle. This is my x axis and this is my y axis. So this is y axis and this is x axis. Let's take this angle as x, this angle as y and this angle exactly equal to this angle since we are going clockwise. So we have three angles here, angle x, y and negative y here. Okay. This point here, we call it P1 and coordinates would be cos x and sin x. Now, why these coordinates are cos x and sin x? Suppose we have a circle like this here. This is a unit circle, so this will be 1. What will be this point? This point will be a comma b. What is the value of cos x here? a over 1. What is the value of sin x here? b over 1 which is b. So in place of a can I write cos x and in place of b can I write sin x? That is what we have done here. This coordinate in place of taking a and b I have taken as cos x and sin x. So this coordinate p1 is cos x sin x. This coordinate P2 as cos x plus y, this angle plus this angle, and B would be sin x plus y, x plus y same. This coordinate here would be cos minus y and sin minus y. We have already studied how to find out distance between two coordinates. Here, if I have to find out distance between P1 and P3, I'll write P1, P3 square will be equal to cos x minus cos negative y whole square plus sin x minus sin minus y whole square. That is the formula to find out distance between two coordinates. Cos x. We already know that cos negative y is equal to cos positive y. So this will be cos y as it is whole square plus sin x. This will be minus sin y means minus plus plus sin y whole square. Cos squared x plus sin squared x will give you 1. Cos squared y plus sin squared y will also give you 1. So 1 plus 1, 2. So 2 minus 2 cos x cos y 2 sin x sin y. Let's take 2 as common. This will be cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. This is done. Let's find out distance between P4 and P2. So I'll write P2, P4 square. This will give me this is cos square x plus y sin square x plus y which is 1, so this will be 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 minus 2 cos x plus y. Now, most important thing, if you take these two triangles, P1, O, P3, this triangle, and this triangle, P2, O, P4, this triangle and this triangle, these two triangles, P1, O, P3, I have OP1 and OP3 both are radius. In triangle P2, 
OP4, I have OP2 and OP4, both are radius. In that case, these two radius, these two radius, they will be equal, means two two sides from both the triangles, they are equal, corresponding sides are equal. This angle here, angle Y and negative Y will be equal, since both the angles are same, absolute value is same, however, this is negative. Even in that case, absolute value is the same. So, the measurement of angle is same. This angle here is common in both the triangles. This angle here is common in this triangle and in this triangle. In that case, this angle Y and this common angle, sum of them and this angle negative Y and this common angle, sum of them will also be equal, means this angle here and this angle here. Both of them will be equal. Means angle between the equal corresponding lines, they are also equal. So as per side angle side theorem, this triangle and this triangle both will be congruent. In that case, when these two triangles are congruent, I can take P1, P3 equals to P2, P4. Now, when P1, P3 and P2, P4, these two lines, they are equal, their squares will also be equal. Means, this here will be equal to this. I'll write as, so this will be gone, negatives are gone, this two will be cancelled with this two. It means, simply, cos x plus y will be equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. That is what we have to prove. Cos x plus y equals to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Done. Now, this is one of the most important identities we have solved here. This will give us a lot more many other identities to establish. Alright?